Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is part three of the build of Revel's Apollo Saturn V. Uh, this is the third stage. Um, this is all the bits that I've got left, basically. So there's uh, the third stage, the payload, and the lander. Uh, so the, the intention for this part of the build is certainly to do the third stage, but probably the, the payload canister as well, uh, leaving one more to do the lander and the final painting and what small weathering there's going to be uh, so as ever I'm going to get the bits off the sprue for the third stage which I think is basically these two bits the two ends and the the engine uh, possibly the collar piece as well but I'll worry about that in a moment I'll get them off the sprue and ready to go and we'll see how they go together okay that's the bits for the third stage cut off uh, there's the two halves which these ones actually go together nicely no no dodgy ends no dodgy no, no there's still some seams i haven't sanded down i've cut these off yet but uh all in all that is not bad at all uh basically we've got uh what have we got this end that goes halfway down there something like that uh that one goes on this end getting on the inside like that. Uh, the two sides of the thruster go together and obviously then go into that bit and we've got some little greebly bits that go around the outside. Let me take those out the middle for now. Uh, a couple of small wing type pieces and a few bigger bits that go on these flattened areas just to add a bit more detail, so we've got uh, that's a long one, a short one, and the thicker one. Uh, then, so that goes together, and then there's another section with the uh, the other bit. So I'm going to get these, as I sanded down, get rid of the nubs and that on those. Uh, as ever, I'll check the colour. Should have done it before, but there we go. Um, basically we've got uh, iron k yeah that's the the thrusters the same as ever they're going to be steel on the outside with the, the sort of ready ready metallic inside same as all the other thrusters no shock there uh, the inside bits are going to be in the top one is in light gray and the bottom one is in the green uh, so i shall uh, get these done in black uh, all of this done in white and leave that in the white as well as ever and then we'll see how it all comes together um, I'm not going to film the painting on this bit I did some spraying in the last part the last uh, part of the build so if you want to watch me do that go back and watch that video uh, once these are done I'll, I'll, so I'll get the, the two tubes together before I really paint the outside I'll get them primed to begin with um, but to get rid of that seam line you need to do the final painting while it's assembled so I can't do a great deal with that so I'll get them basically primed in but then worry about that after uh, the rocket engine will be assembled and painted try and get rid of that seam as best I can again uh, the other bits so I won't worry about doing much with them until they're on them apart from getting the um, nubs off uh, I will get the other parts ready for the next part because there's not much here, it's only going to take five minutes uh, which is basically another two sides, a top and a bottom uh, this one's got more detailed painting on it as well which is going to be a bit more interesting uh, might be some decals on there as well, I'm not sure yeah, the decals on there of a couple of bits uh, and that's will probably be it. Um, the next part of the build is going to be the opening part with the lander. I think that's probably going to be the next next part. I'll see how long it takes to do this bit. I might do the the opening cap piece anyway. So um, see you in a moment when I've got this started. I've got those glued together. I need to sand down and tidy up the, the edges on all of this. So basically just again with a rounded surface it's always easy to do it when it's together rather than in two separate bits you'll never get the curves to match up 
uh, but basically it's just a case of keeping that curve going where it's got ridges on this piece I'm using a, a corner rather than going across the flats so I can sort of get in each of the ridges and just sort of sand it around a bit the primer is going to cover up most of it and it's going to be mostly assembled in you know not going to see this on the outside of the kit anyway but it's always nice to get a better finish than the, the stock because the stock's a bit rubbish basically uh, so I'm going to spend some time getting into the, the little nooks and crannies in here sand that down make that look a little bit better and then get that primed up uh, I've decided again to use these bits and actually put them on now rather than painting and priming and then having to put them on so basically I'm just putting some extra thin on there I've denubbed these bits anyway and that just sits in place like that and the little veins again just sit in there hold it for a few seconds just to give it a chance to get to the right angle obviously you need it to be at right angles to the the body itself and that will sit there quite happily add a little bit more glue to the inside there while while we can get to it uh, so I'll get the other bits of these put on and then be ready for the priming and the painting and I'll see you when that's done another change of plan I'm not going to do the little module I'm going to do basically the next bit on top of the rocket once this has been glued together uh, basically this ring fits on the top uh, only one way round like that and on top of that you've got these four opening pieces which is where the lander sits in the, on top of that so putting that aside for now these have little shape clips that go in on hopefully you can just make out in there the little shape pieces in there so those clips go on there like that with one of these inside it so basically that is glued on like that and this piece is loose but it's cleverly loose that you can actually push it in and it holds in and obviously the four around the edge will make coming up to the nose cone and you can pull it open and fold it open and then the, the module comes out from the middle there uh, so I need to paint these before putting them all together I think it's going to be much easier uh, or is it I'm not sure yet really no I think I'm going to glue these together first and all of these need to be in white I believe I'll double check before I actually paint it but yeah I've I've denubbed the bits there so basically the trick is going to be getting these glued in place without gluing the other bit in place so I'm just going to add some glue to the ends there where that needs to go and then somehow get that in place and that over and through it making sure that's still free while the extra thin there sets that interior piece together I'm not going to put any strain on it before it's actually set but that's pretty much how that's going to go um, I'll get the other three glued around there as well I'll make sure it's dry and then make sure it does actually fold in and, and clip down and then I'll get all that primed with the rest of it so I'll uh, see you in a moment okay that's all the bits of this stage painted uh, the green's come out much the same as it normally does it has done previously so I'm happy enough with that let's get rid of the blue tack I was using to hold it in place nice thing about this warm weather we're having at the moment is paint dries really quick so there's very little sitting around and waiting so it's almost as soon as you sprayed the paint on it's dried and you're good to go with the next coat or the next colour or 
whatever else you're doing. Uh, the booster rocket comes out quite nicely again. Uh, so let's get some of this assembled. Then I'm going to have to sort out the seams and tidy up again. So we've got that piece there. Uh, the pointy end goes down there. So we've got the two lines here that it needs to locate onto. So that will go in like that. Let's get some extra thin. Around the seam there. And that bit goes down that end. So again, extra thin around the edge. And get half of it to sit in properly, and then the other half will go in. Not quite so glued in, but glued in enough. So we get that one down there. Uh, then we've got to put the other bit on the side. So we're going to pretty much fill in the holes and the pegs. I'll get some more extra thin stuck in down the edge. When that's on, I'm going to get some around the edge where I'm not going to be able to get to when it's together. And then quickly... Get that lined up and together. Much nicer fit than the previous parts of this. Get some of that sucked in down the seam. I'll go around once it, once this is dry. I can go in and sand down that seam not going to need any filler on this one but it will need sanding and then repainting over the top that's why I wasn't too worried about how much priming I was doing on that so I'll leave that to dry uh, the engine will just go on like that I'll get that on in a bit anyway. Actually, might as well put that on now while I'm here. No point in hanging around with that bit. There we go. That's that in there. Uh, right, the other bit was this, which has gone together properly and all dried now. So they actually... lock themselves in quite nicely. They do if you line them up right. That's that. So once that has a another piece capped onto the top, that basically just goes on. Like that. So I'm quite happy with how that's coming together. What I will do is get that glued on there as well. And then that makes the painting much easier because I can put that on the collar piece from the top and not have to worry about any masking at all. So I'm happy with how that's coming along. I'll just make sure that that's not meant to be removable. I don't think it is, but I'll just double check that it does say to glue that in place. It's yeah, you've got a little picture of glue. So yeah, we glue that in place. So I'll do that now as well. Let's just lift that off a bit. And then I can get some glue around the edge. And 
and it's over on the other side. It's that one, and that is about there. That gives me a little bit more to play around with. Let's see if I can tidy up one of those. That's not going quite fully down for some reason. Moving parts in kits, I was never expecting to be 100% working. But I think that will go a little bit nicer than that. Still a bit of a seam down here for some reason, so let's just see if I can get that together a little bit more. Yeah, so I'll sit here and hold this for a little while, but I won't bore you with that. And once that's done, and so a bit more sanding, finishing on the painting, and then that will be that bit done. Right, if you're building along with me, don't glue that bit on there yet. Uh, from a structural point of view, it's not a problem, but the inside of this needs to be green. I forgot about that. So I don't want to be you know, spraying green anywhere near the white of the outside of that. But the inside of this and that do need to be green. So what I'm going to be doing is basically going back in with the green and figuring out how I'm going to do that without hopefully getting it all over the white but I'll figure that out in a minute probably along the lines of that if I can let's say get half of it together I should be able to spray the insides there without getting the outside here at all hopefully or not too much if not and I can get around the inside of there as well and then I can come back and do the other side again so don't stick it on there quite yet there we go that's uh, this stage completed it's and it's off nicely from the, the second stage and the top opens up ready for the lander we go into it um, I've just had a, a little top up and seen that this is a very short video so instead of making just a very short video what I've decided to do is do the next bit so this is the the next five bits which are the next stage the next um, module which has got more detail on this one this has got hopefully coming out on the screen there uh, it's got the little thruster things and it's which that and it's onto the top here and actually holds it all together quite nicely so that I think is going to be a better place to finish this build or this this video so I'll put that on aside for now I shall once again get these primed obviously the top and the bottom need to go on there as well so the inside is not 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 got to be done and the thruster again needs to be Paint it up on that, that goes there, which goes on there, and then that one goes on the top. Uh, so, uh, one more bit to prime and paint. I'm not going to film the intermediate bit on this. It's exactly the same as all the others have been. Uh, going to get these all primed up, then put together, and then, and so sanded, tidying up the seam, and repriming again. And that should be that. So any problems I'll come back and let you know but I think hopefully this is going to be quite smooth sailing uh, there's going to be some detail work to do on this so I will come back and show you that I think there's a couple of decals going on there so I might as well do those while I'm finishing this part of the build so I'll uh, see you in a moment for that right one thing that's different about this part of the build is the main tube section I front in black now the reason for this is although it's an external piece uh, it's actually according to the instructions here uh, mostly done in silver uh, which always comes up nicer over a black base than um, over a lighter color uh, there is some white on it basically the white bits on the, on the drawing here so the very bottom section uh, the windows and some other bits on there which so the windows in the bottom section are done but the top section doesn't have any markings on it at all so I'm just gonna have to mask that uh, but I'm going to hand pump, paint those in, I think, rather than doing too much with anything else. Uh, so this is going to be in silver, 
a couple of bits of chrome on there as well which are the, the, the K uh, what is it called cray steel steel metallic and, and the main body is silver uh, the top and the bottom are silver as well which I've done in black as ever the thruster on this bit is different as well um, it's still got the same um, steel outside but instead of being the ready brown inside it's actually done in what they call L which is anthracite grey just a instead of being the ready ready brown it's a grey I'm not sure why but who am I I'm not a rocket engineer so I'll do what they tell me to do and then uh, that will be that. I'll get that together. So I still need to get the, the tube together once it's painted and probably reprime bits of it as I need to get the edge sitting in nicely. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to get most of it done in... Uh, actually, thinking about it, now I'm thinking about it, the M is the same, so it's all still on the outside. So, I can get it together now. Didn't notice that, didn't think of that, or would have done that ages back. Nobody told me. So I'm going to get this to put together now. The four bits, not the, not the uh, the thruster, but as the external piece of all of this has to be the same steel colour. I can get these four together, and then worry about painting it after. Uh, so let's get it the right way around. The plain bit goes at the top here with the thruster coming out of it so we'll get that in with some extra thin the edge there and on there and the same on the bottom piece down on there them and then we'll get the top and the bottom together as well get some around there hopefully it won't dry off right before I put it together there we go that together like that out there. Something's not lining up quite right there. Let's see what that might be. This side seems okay. It's definitely this thruster assembly bit that's not quite right. sit in I'll see in a moment I'm going to touch up the priming down these seams as well once I've sanded them down anyway it doesn't look like I need to worry about any filler down there though should be just about okay Right, I'll get this dried together and then get the next colour on. See you in a moment. Right, I had to separate it and re-glue it back together because this top piece, in respect of what the instructions say, doesn't go underneath that runner. It needs to go on the top of that runner because the little blob on the top is for the bottom half of the, the next stage to go on to. And if it's underneath, it won't reach. So that's... Um, I've actually got all the bits off the sprues, so that's that's all that's left of this kit. Uh, so that is basically the the return landing module, and basically that top piece just sits on there, so you can take it apart easily. But so if that was lower, it wouldn't. So I've had to separate it apart, which does mean that I've got more clean up to do down the edge than I had hoped. 
but there we go these things nice to find out just before the glue dried completely so I could get it apart uh, the bottom I've left as is ready for that final stage thrust that they go onto it once I painted that as well so I'm gonna so send this down and reprime that ready to go and then we shall be ready for the painting they're doing that in the silver so now I'm gonna go and I'll see you in a bit I'm gonna try this freehand and see how it goes and hopefully the camera angle is gonna be okay for you to see actually let me put another light on for you that might help a bit uh, right now what I need to do is paint in the three sections on both sides this entire bottom section including the little indentation bit uh, and I think this entire top bit with one stripe around the bottom as well judging by the the picture down here so it's got the three windows this bit and that one stripe which is level with the bottom which conveniently isn't put on there I'm not sure I can't find any decent reference pictures of that so I think I'll do the windows and the bottom bit that's actually marked out and then see about the other bit and come back to that in a moment uh, right I'm going to be using my visor so hopefully I'm not going to knock the camera lots uh, now the paint I'm using for this is actually the white primer so ho hopefully I won't be knocking it all flying actually I'm gonna how am I gonna do this yeah hopefully I can hold it in my hands right um, using the white primer there you go I can knock the camera uh, so it should match the rest of it I'm thinking it's going to take a few coats anyway to go over the silver but while well, I've got these nice raised lines to go up against it's not going to be too tricky to almost flood it with paint and hope it stays in the lines as it were so this is sort of the end of this stage get those tucked into the corners there yeah using quite a lot of paint and they're going in quite thick works quite well so hopefully this is visible on camera I can't look at that and look at this and see where I am but I think I'm in the right place there So yeah, that's working quite well on those. Definitely going to need another coat on some of it. And hopefully I can do the other side. Remembering not to get my fingers in the bit that I've just painted. So I'm getting lots of, yeah, knocking the camera a lot. Still, still on screen. Uh, getting those covered in there. And then go in and tidy up the edges. do much the same with the, the bit on the bottom so I won't film that bit for you because so I've seen the same thing time and time again isn't much fun I should expect I've got some edges there to go and tidy up so I'll do that in a moment as well uh, right I'll get the rest of this done up um, there's a couple of other bits to touch up on here in, in steel so hopefully that'll be that and then I think once I get the thruster that I've just painted uh, attached that should be the end of this section so I'll uh, catch up with you in a moment and there we have this uh, stage completed the, the entire thing is getting quite unwieldy now it's quite quite long as you can see it's quite a lot of rocket uh, so I'll be taking it apart and you can see it all next to each other it's quite nice So there you go, that's the, the three stages. Uh, the top section is now, stand those up out of the way, um, been finished off. I'm not gonna paint the, the big white bits on the side because it seems to be different for different uh, um, Apollo missions. So I'm gonna leave it like that because I don't think I'll be able to make it look quite right. So I'm leaving that like that 
inside there we've got the thruster engine obviously these open up and the lander will go in there when that's done next time so all in all I'm, I'm quite happy with it it's coming together very nicely uh, there is obviously some more detail painting and work to do onto it and the decals and everything with the names have to go on everywhere and there are a couple of decals on on that module as well but that will be probably next time next time I shall be starting doing the um, the final section the little pointy bit at the top as well as the um, landing mod the, the lander and the uh, earth return section that bit doesn't go quite right I'm not sure if I'm just not getting it by any room right but that's definitely the trickiest of all of these bits to put together the other bits all just go together really well and that one you have to yeah just about right so those, those ones are nice and easy so um thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed the build so far and uh come back for the next probably the final part and uh as ever, I say, hope you're enjoying the channel, liking and subscribing, following the videos, and I shall see you soon. Let's get this one the right way around. There we go. There you go. Um, see you soon for the next part. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.